Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And praise the Lord, the Orville has been renewed for third season. Thank you. Uh, Star Trek Discovery has been approved for a third season. They're now going into the 32nd century, which is kind of funny because everyone was complaining that it just didn't fit in the past. So now it's like, okay, fine, we understand you. And so they're putting it into the 32nd century, uh, which is where the technology looks like it belongs. But if Discovery was getting a third season, the Orville better get a third season because the Orville is a better Star Trek than Discovery is, in my opinion. Star Trek Discovery is okay um, as compared to the other Trek shows, you know, Next Gen, Voyager, Deep Space Nine, Enterprise, the original, uh, TOS. Um, Discovery is kind of its own thing. They claim that it's in the prime timeline, and I guess, but <laughs> it's more, it has more of a cinematic, uh, heck, it's more like a mini series, if anything. You know, the old mini series, do they still do that anymore? I don't know. Um, the old, old time mini series, which would be a, you know, a long movie broken into two, three, five parts or whatnot, which they, you know, showed on regular TV. I don't think that's a thing anymore uh, because now a lot of shows will do like epic things, uh, you know, spanning an entire season, one episode to the next. So I guess nowadays it kind of is a mini series. It's a series with many parts, I guess. Um, and that's kind of like what Discovery is. It's, it's a mini series. It's one story, um, with an arc that, you know, goes all the way through it. And that's fine. That's okay. Um, it's interesting. Uh, and, and it's, uh, you know, new, fresh take on, you know, the franchise. But for those of us who want to see you know, good old fashioned Trek stuff. That's where the Orville comes in. And what I like about the Orville is, I mean, it's got stories in there that could easily be something like in the next generation. Um, I, I like, you could take the stories and most, most of the dialogue, maybe not all of it, but most of the dialogue and, you know, use it, you know, use it with the Enterprise crew. Uh, but the difference is Seth MacFarlane. When I'm not a huge Seth MacFarlane fan, and I'm not like into Family Guy, <clears throat> but uh, I have seen Seth MacFarlane in interviews and the guy's awesome. I, I think he's... Uh, I think he's smart, he's witty, um, looks to me as a very kind uh, person who I would love to meet Seth MacFarlane. Uh, seems like a genu gen genuine nice guy. But with his, uh, his style of humor, I like how he kind of weaves that in a little bit here and there uh, into the Orville. So you've got that nice Trek feel with those, um, those moral stories of what's right, what's wrong, um, with a little bit of, you know, humor in there and not the typical Trek humor that, that we've seen in, uh, you know, the previous Trek shows, but this is more kind of like a modern day humor that we can relate to some, you know, some, some things going on today. And for those of you who, who watch the Orville and like it, you know, you know what I'm talking about, but, ah, uh, yes, uh, it's official. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and show a website of where I found the information 
just to you know provide a source that it's official that it's been renewed so this is the website that i found the information on it was deadline.com and you know right here renew for season three but considering that they put in here it's official uh, that to me means well it's official so if you need a source as far as it being official well here it is so just on this article it says the renewal is not unexpected well yeah i mean it's logical the show's doing well it's got a it's got a following of you know it should be renewed but you know then again firefly was an amazing show so um i wouldn't necessarily say it was not unexpected but anyways uh things were looking bright for season two renewal when the series received approval for 15.8 million in the latest round of tv tax credits for a third season up from the 14.5 million incentive it got for season two so this is cool um we should be seeing some more effects and stuff and possibly uh with the with more money they'll be able to get other guest stars on the show so that would be cool uh anyway the Orville has developed a devoted following and excels in delayed and on-demand viewing in its first season. Uh, blah, 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 blah. That's what it goes into. But, yep, that's it. So, uh, here is the article and the uh, link will be in the description in case you want to check it out. Uh, <laughs> there's not much to check out, but, you know, it's there. Uh, I'm quoting my source and it's in the description. So, there you go. All right, so there you go. Uh, Orville, like I said, has been renewed. Thank you, thank you. Um, Fox and sci-fi uh, don't usually go together. Uh, well, that's what some people were saying, but you know what? I X Files, X Files was kind of sci-fi. I mean, Mulder, UFOs, uh, sounds like sci-fi to me, and it went for what, seven, eight years, nine years or something? I, and I'm just thinking of the original run. I didn't even, you know, I wasn't even considering the, you know, when it came back a couple of times. But yeah, so, I mean, it's been on Fox. But I think the one thing that everyone thinks about is Firefly. And uh, don't we all wish that there'd be more Firefly? I know I do. <laughs> Firefly. With as with the short amount of episodes that they have in Firefly, man, they Josh Whedon really, uh, really built a universe just with a short amount of episodes. You got to give that guy credit. He made an incredible universe and made it rich and vast and interesting with only a short amount of videos or videos, episodes, well, or videos, whatever. But, um, so it's, that's what people are thinking, you know. Most people think about Fox, sci-fi. They canceled Firefly. They suck. Which, yeah, a horrible decision, Fox. But at least the Oroville is now going for a third year. So here's to the Oroville. And I am hoping that we'll get many, many more uh, seasons of it. But... Other than that, thanks for watching uh, this rambling video, and I hope you'll check out the other rambling videos that I have on this channel, as well as uh, some other things that I do. But thanks, and I'll see you next time.